What are the strongest military vehicles in the armed forces of Croatia? What lies in their arsenal? And can they face the most advanced militaries in the world? Well, in this video, we'll find out together, exploring the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the Croatian army. In this list, we'll include only land vehicles, leaving warships and aircrafts for future contents. But if you want to see much more rankings of the most powerful military vehicles in the world, well, like and subscribe. And now, let's dive in. Number 10. HUMVEE -E. The High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle, or Humvee, is a versatile military reconnaissance vehicle originally produced by the United States. Croatia has 85 Humvees in service, with 65 being the M1151 model and 20 the M1141 model. These vehicles were primarily used by Croatian forces as part of the ISAF mission in Afghanistan, but since 2012, 21 newly built units have been deployed within Croatia. The Humvee is designed for high mobility on all terrains, weighing between 5,200 pounds for the lightweight version and 8,500 pounds for the armored variant. It is powered by a 6.2-liter V8 engine, generating 152 horsepower at 3,600 revolutions per minute. With a four-wheel drive and independent coil spring suspension, it offers excellent off-road capabilities. The fuel tank holds 25.6 gallons of diesel, ensuring good range and durability in challenging environments. This combination of power, versatility, and ruggedness makes the Humvee an indispensable asset for military operations. Number 9. MT-55A The MT-55A is an armored bridge vehicle developed by the Soviet Union in Czechoslovakia and is currently used by the Croatian Army with seven units in service. This vehicle, known in Slovak as the Mosny tank, is based on the chassis of the T-55A medium tank, with the turret replaced by bridge launching equipment. The MT-55A is designed to quickly deploy a bridge over obstacles like rivers or gaps, providing a critical solution for moving troops and vehicles across difficult terrain in combat situations. Weighing 36 tons, the MT-55A is operated by a two-person crew consisting of a commander and a driver. It is powered by a robust V55 12-cylinder 38.88-liter water-cooled diesel engine that produces 580 horsepower. Additional bridge units mounted on Kraz 6x6 heavy trucks are currently in service, although they are scheduled to be replaced by a modern NATO standard system. The MT-55A remains a valuable asset in military operations, allowing for rapid and efficient bridge deployment in challenging conditions. Number 8. Stryla 10CROA1 the Stryela 10 is a short-range air defense system produced by Croatia, designed to protect Croatian army units and installations from low-flying aircraft and helicopters. It is a domestically modified version of the Russian 9K35 Strela 10 system, with several enhancements. Currently, there are nine units in service, with the system available in three versions. Originally, due to a shortage of MTLB armored personnel carriers during the Croatian War of Independence, the Stryla 10 CROA-1 was mounted on the chassis of the TAM-150 6CR-6 truck, which offered more practical use. While three units are now mounted on the MTLB vehicles, the Croatian Army continues to use both configurations. The system remains in production and development, with ongoing modernization efforts led by Croatian defense firms. Number 7. BOV-20-3 the BOV-20-3 is a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun used by the Croatian Army, originally produced in Yugoslavia. It is equipped with triple M55 20mm anti-aircraft guns mounted on a BOV armored personnel carrier chassis. Croatia currently has 42 of these vehicles in service, organized into seven batteries, each consisting of six vehicles. Beyond their primary role in air defense, the BOV-23s are valued for their secondary use as heavily armed armored personnel carriers and their capability to defend against drone attacks. An undisclosed number of towed variants have been donated to Ukraine. 
Weighing 9.1 tons, the BOV 20-3 is operated by a crew of two with space to carry up to eight additional personnel. It features armor protection ranging from 10 to 15 millimeters of steel, rated to Stanig 4, 569, level 3 plus at the front, and varying protection levels on the sides and rear, depending on the model variant. Number 6. BVPM-80A The BVPM-80A is a tracked infantry fighting vehicle produced in Yugoslavia during the 1980s and remains in service with the Croatian Army. There are 104 units in total, with 92 vehicles actively operational across two battalions, while the remaining units are either used for training, converted for different roles, or serve as sources of spare parts. Although the possibility of modernizing the fleet has been considered, it is no longer a priority, and the BVP M80A will be partially replaced by M2 Bradley IFVs. Designed to carry a crew of three along with seven infantry troops, the BVP M80A is equipped with aluminum armor, possibly reinforced with aluminum oxide and titanium boride for additional protection. Its primary armament includes a 20mm M55 HS-804 cannon with 400 rounds, along with a 9M14 Malyutka anti-tank guided missile system, which can launch two missiles. Number 5. M2 Bradley the M2 Bradley is an American infantry fighting vehicle produced by BAE Systems Land and Armaments, initially entering service in 1981. Croatia has ordered 89 M2A2 ODS variants, with 22 units already delivered and the remainder expected to arrive between 2023 and 2026. This acquisition includes over 1,700 BGM-71 Tau anti-tank missiles and a support and spare parts package valued at $757 million. The M2 Bradley is a key consideration to replace Croatia's aging fleet of 128B VPM-80A IFVs, with eight units anticipated to be ready by the end of the year. The M2 Bradley weighs 25 tons and is operated by a crew of three, commander, gunner, and driver, while carrying six or seven passengers depending on the variant. It features space laminate armor that offers protection against 14.5 millimeter rounds with a base hull made from 7017 aluminum. Number four, M92 Vulcan. The M92 Vulcan is a mobile multiple rocket launcher system used by the Croatian Army, with six units currently in service. It is a Croatian modification of the Yugoslav-produced M77 Oganj, originally designed for 128mm rockets. The M92 Vulcan has been adapted to fire 122mm rockets compatible with the BM21 Grad system. This modification includes changes to the launcher and fire control system, enabling it to effectively engage targets up to 12 miles away. A battery of four M92 Vulcan units is deployed as part of the Croatian contingent in the NATO-led battlegroup Poland, stationed in Poland. The system enhances the group's capabilities by providing a powerful and mobile artillery platform, allowing for rapid and flexible responses during live-fire exercises. The M92 Vulcan's adaptability and firepower make it a valuable asset in modern military operations, enhancing the overall combat effectiveness of Croatian and Allied forces. Number 3. Panzer Haubitze 2000 The Panzer Haubitze 2000, or PZH 2000, is a German self-propelled howitzer in service with the Croatian Army, featuring a 155mm artillery gun. Croatia acquired 15 units, 12 operational howitzers, 3 additional for spare parts, and a simulator from the German Army Reserve stock under a $54 million contract. These units underwent modernization and upgrades, with deliveries completed between 2015 and 2019. Future purchases of additional PZH-2000 systems are likely. Developed by Krauss, Maffei Wagman, and Rheinmetall in the 1980s and 1990s, the PZH-2000 is renowned for its advanced capabilities, such as automatic support for firing up to five rounds simultaneously on a single target, and an automated replenishment system that allows two operators to load 60 shells in under 12 minutes. Number 2. 
Patria AMV. The Patria Armored Modular Vehicles, an 8x8 multi-role military vehicle produced by Finland's Patria, with some versions also produced in Croatia. The Croatian Army currently operates 117 units in both armored personnel carrier and infantry fighting vehicle configurations, with three additional units used for various purposes. All of these units were delivered by mid-2013 and are deployed across three mechanized battalions. An additional order for 30 vehicles in IFV configuration, equipped with a UT-30MK2 turret armed with a 30mm cannon and twin Spike LR missile launchers, is planned, which would bring the total number of Patria AMVs in Croatian service to 156. The Patria AMV is designed to be a versatile and modular platform, with a mass ranging from 35,000 to 71,000 pounds depending on the configuration. It typically has a crew of two to three members, including a commander, driver, and optional gunner, and can carry between eight to 12 passengers. Number one, M84A4 Sniper. The M84A4 is a Croatian variant of the Yugoslav main battle tank, based on the Soviet T-72 design. With 75 units currently in service, all M84A tanks were upgraded to the A4 standard by 2008. By 2023, approximately 50 of these tanks have undergone further overhauls and light upgrades, primarily improving communication systems. Although a more comprehensive upgrade is under consideration, many tanks are still halfway through their operational lifespan, and the last batch of five was delivered in 2003. The M84A4 sniper features enhanced power compared to earlier models. Equipped with a German-built engine delivering 1,100 horsepower. As we conclude our exploration, we hope you've been inspired by the power of these powerful machines. Do you agree with this list? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings like this.